Hey man, what it is, what it do, y'all? Today, we got another loyalty test. We got Jack Boy, Jack Boy, in the cut. Will her god best friend sleep with her friend if she acts? Will her guy best friend sleep with her if she asked? I know a lot of y'all. A lot of y'all would fail this, man. A lot of y'all would fail this, bro. How you doing? My name is Jack. Um, I personally collaborated with Uplevel to help put a guarantee $250 in your pocket. Are you interested? Uh, sure. Turn it By down a little bit. Hold up, man. This is just a ad. Oh, they have Bucky's. <laughs> So he reached out to me, he basically touched on more so that he feel like because he is a guy, he's able to tap into a side that you can't see. Okay. Where it is to like, your best friend is lusting over you type shit. You not okay, like so this is the girl, I, I think it's his girl. So that's Don't come at me, y'all. Don't come at me, bro. So how would you feel if you had a girl best friend? I mean, shit. And... <laughs> No, I'm just asking, like, how would you feel if he had a girl best friend and let's every see, time he was at work, they was hanging out, she was over at the crib, and you're not at the crib. Oh my, wait, so when he's working and stuff, his girl hangs out with her guy best friend, yeah, because clapping cheeks, bro, somebody? clapping, exactly. Same way I do with you, but you don't be listening. This guacamole G1 works to upgrade your health. Man, it's not it's not his bitch, it's his best friend. See what I'm saying? You already defensive, so now you can kind of damn see where he's coming from. He, he said, Check that say, bitch. Hey, let's check your nigga if you want to put it that way. Because I feel like if you know about him at this point, she look like a dude. Like my fault, my, my fault. Again, you know, <laughs> so when I bro, I think this this dude Jack TV got a weakest security guards, bro. <laughs> This dude find the scrawniest dudes and just throw on a bulletproof vest that says security on it. And now they think they're invincible. If he was to try to get with you and say something to you on that level of... I'm going to tell you. Okay, what you going to do about the situation, though? What do you mean? I'm going to come and let you know how we move about the situation. Okay, but how I'm supposed to know that you, in that moment, when he bringing it up, that's what you're going to do. Like, you're not going to do nothing with him or you're going to tell me. So why would I need to have you as my boyfriend? And him is my best friend if I wanted to do that. Anymore. What you need him for? I mean, he's just been my best friend. Uh -huh. I mean, all right. We're best friends. No one, if he had a girl best friend, she wouldn't like him. Even the security is speaking on it, man. It's just, that's just, it's common sense, bro. Fellas, would y'all, would y'all be all right if your girl had a guy best friend and she was over his house all the time? And then girls, would y'all be all right if your man had a girl best friend, and he was over at her place all the time. You wouldn't like it, right? Well, exactly. Like day, simple, you know, best simple. Friend, at the opposite sex, boundaries definitely have to be set. Mm -hmm. Now, as a man, if my girl had a, a boy best friend, I would have had a conversation with her, but it should have never got to the point of him feeling this uncomfortable to reach out to me and be like, Jack, can you put this guy on a loyalty test? Because obviously something he's feeling a certain way, and I feel like you're not taking that into account. But... We don't gotta do the loyalty test. It's really up to y'all. We're gonna do this loyalty test. If he fail, you're gonna have to choose between me or him. Damn. Y'all putting a loyalty test. Y'all pretty much putting it in front of him. Y'all putting a cake in front of the fat. I mean. saying, are you gonna eat or you not gonna eat? No, that's your best friend then. You it, not. Nah, she's. So she's basically saying he's gonna fail. If he's, if he's she's fucked, bro. Your best friend, she's definitely have. Cause she's trying to like. He ain't gonna eat you. She's trying to like Feel stand me? up for him. agree with that? The purpose of a loyalty test is to create a scenario in which your partner is tested by any means. You're either loyal or you're not. There is no damn. This dude at the bottom of the camera. Like, she she had something going on, bro, because she ain't want really want to do the test. She kept fussing with him about doing the test. <laughs> nah, I, I messed with this dude, bro. This is exactly how I'm thinking. Hey, smart minds think alike. I gotta test him, like. I'm like, man, I ain't gonna lie. She probably is really doing something. Exactly. So I went out in public by myself. Yeah, I like that. But keep doing the security guard, bro. Oh my god. Oh, so bad. 
Like he got the beard and everything. Man. Asking everyone is. What's y'all looking at, man? What are y'all looking at? I feel like if if it was the other way around, he didn't want me to have a guy best friend mm -hmm. because he felt some type of way. I would respect that, and I would expect him to respect my decision. If okay, I let me ask you this: Do you feel like a guy is capable of having a girl best friend? If nah. Enough, Would you like a girl to have a uh, boy best friend? Nah. What? That shit did. That shit did. That shit did. <laughs> Why not? That shit did. I was, I'm a boy best friend, so I know that shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, bro. That's how everyone starts off, man. Like, you'll start off as just friends, and then boom. Oh, we do, we do. Some we shit, some connection is there, and... Hell no, exactly. Bro, like, hell no, bro. Exactly. You have a boy best I do. He right there. Where? He right here. That's my oh, best friend. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Oh, he's gay. Have you ever had a See, that's <laughs> Jackson. Jackson, okay, okay. I would, actually, because I completely trust her. I, like, do not think that any bitch could compare to me at all. I went around him because I Who do you him think you is? Really know that if he do something, I'm going to go upside his head. Why not? Ew, bro. These, this is someone I would not want to date or like even be around. Like, why does she think like I'm from Chicago? I, nigga, I don't give a fuck where you from. Why not? Ain't nobody I'm care. Boy, best friend. I know I'm taking my best friend out. Right? So basically, what you, so basically what you're saying is you be your best friend. I feed you. I feed you. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Cause all dudes just wanna and all girls just wanna. Exactly, man. Simple as that. So based off the interviews that we conducted, that dude guys, don't hit nothing, bro. He think he do, but he Judging don't hit nothing. Meter, we can obviously tell that David had a problem with Coco's best friend because he was a guy. His main concern. Her is name is Coco. Coco? With her best friend oh my god. He also expressed, regardless of Coco not having no intentions on having with her best friend, that his intuition was telling him that her best friend wasn't genuine. Later in the week, me and the team got everything together and we went to Coco's house, where she reached out to her best friend to get him to come over and act like everything was normal. Who's the reason you saw the guy come over? I told him over so I can do it. You do his hair? I'm not doing his hair every time. You always do his hair? That's, that's fucking, bro. Why not? Because I feel like he would have been like, what's up? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if you text a bitch, yo, can you come do my hair? That's just that's just an excuse so you could go to her crib and you feel me? Pull a move or two on her. You just have four? Because I'm like, once before. No, I'm not. Every time you come over here, he's not getting his hair done. No, he's not. Well, just call him. Just call him this and give him one. Dude, I don't see him passing, bro. Are they free? Yeah, it's free. Well, then you need to get your done. You can come over and get it done real fast. Alright, I'll do it. Alright. Be safe. It's Kyle. Where is his work schedule? 100%. I'll say yeah. Yes and no. It's more so often. I invite him over. Why you don't know my mother? Because you're not his man. Damn. Damn. I can tell from the first interaction that Coco really don't want to do this test. Yeah. The only thing that bothers me about this loyalty test, you guys, is that we have to rely on Coco to be honest and not sabotage this test and giving him any type of signals to throw it all off. Um, she I might, bro. How far are you? I need to clean. Uh, all right, that's good. See you in a minute. But if she happens to do that, then we know something has to be up. Man, I could already tell. I can already tell. Nah, Jack, 
<laughs> nah, he don't trust her, bro. He thinks he thinks she's gonna sabotage. <laughs> she does seem a little like best is on giving off a weird vibe about it too. Position to go ahead and execute this test. Twenty six minutes late out of. What's popping? What's popping with it? So why would you dab my hand up if you got shit on your hand, bro? Please make it make sense. Will her god best friend sleep with her if she asks, bro? I ain't gonna lie, I did not expect them to look like that. He had a deep ass voice, man. I was expecting some tall ass dude. Should be in like that left drawer, I think. You feel like I'm tripping? Hey, if you had a girl best friend, make sure you clean up after yourself. And your your girlfriend have a boy best friend. Would you do it? I hear that. <laughs> Damn. Like you're letting a grown, uh, some other grown man while you're like at work run through your refrigerator, bro? Hell no. Nah. Well, I, I never have a girl He's way too comfortable, bro. We, it'll be definitely boundary set, but. He's way too comfortable, bro. Come to the crib come out there. I just feel like that's, that's disrespectful all the way around, regardless of the intentions or not. So what are you going to bring my hair? Uh, about that. Okay, look. So I'm gonna do it, eventually, you know, eventually. Why are you touching stuff? Like you know I do hair. I can't touch it. No, but anyway, but yeah, I'm gonna do it eventually. But I got a couple things I wanna ask you and talk about. Hmm. Like a couple things between us, type shit. Type shit. And your hair. Uh, okay. So you ready? Um. First question, do you think I'm pretty? Do you think I'm pretty? But she's not smooth with it, but she's just going straight into it. Yes or no? Outside of the whole like best friend shit, you know what I'm saying? God. <laughs> he said, why you asking me that shit? Yes or no? <laughs> I'll do it after we have our talk. Dang. <laughs> like, what the f You being rude. But, um, so... Besides the whole friendship, let's put the whole friendship to the side, okay? Right, Do you think I'm fine? Like, it. if you was to meet me on the street today, and I was not nothing to you, how would you act? Yeah, you're pretty. Why are you broke? Oh. I know you came here to get your hair done. He admitted like, it. Like I said, I'm trying to have a conversation. A real she got a whole like fucking iguana skirt on, bro. Because I feel like it needs to be had. It's been a very long time. We've been friends. And I felt like there's some kind of tension in between us. Mm. But I don't really tension. Know so, do you feel like there's any tension or anything between us more than, you know? Tension? Yeah. Bro, what you, you ain't never heard attention before. What is he talking about? <laughs> you know what bro, what is he talking about? Bro, do you like me yes or no? Like, like you as a friend or like you would? Past the fresh. How many times? Uh oh, here we go. Me and you, right now. Like, I'm, I'm dead ass asking you right now. Just me and you. Nobody else. Say the world is ours, and we're the only two people living on it. Everything else you keep trying to bring up. <laughs> like, I don't get it. Point one, like I said, there's nobody else in the world. All right, all right, us all right, two. All right. So, no okay, do you think I'm pretty? You asked that. I said yes. Okay, so next question. You asked Would that. Would you act on how you felt? You know what I'm saying? Like, because you find me pretty. Bro, you need to speak, speak your words, speak with your chest. Well, okay. Where is the mic? So, I, I really don't know how to ask this. Like, I don't know how... I don't know how to ask it. Um, they probably just uncomfortable. You want to come sit with me on the couch? We could just start there. I feel like the talk might be better there. I'm cold and shit, so yeah. Let's just, let's just go. Both of them. I'm not just sitting and shit. Being on four. He's at an It's making me nervous, and I can't ask you how I want to. Come on. <sighs> you want to get under the cover with me? Uh oh. You don't want to get under the cover with me? Are you being weird? I don't think I'm being weird. I'm just trying. To nah, he gonna fall for it, bro. Personal boy, you kind of like. He gonna fall for it. Weird. You don't want to get under the cover, yes or no? Like. No, bro. Okay, whatever. But back to these questions, cause I feel like you're not really answering them directly. When I'm sorry, we gonna go back to the whole. I'm pretty sure, yes. 
But when you think I'm pretty, like, in what position is that? As a friend. As a but friend. But you thought about being more than friends, like. <laughs> you weird, but come on. She talking about speed. That's what I'm saying. You ain't never thought about being more than friends. Like you ain't never thought about. And you say she's just speed. a friend. No. He said no. What you thinking? What you gotta say? Well, what if I just came coming like right out the blue, like? Like I said, it, it didn't come out the blue. It was just something that I didn't know how to bring up to you. So it was just like, I, I suppressed it, but I didn't know how to bring it up to you. So it's kind of like. Why trying to? I mean, more than that, but that too. Wait, did he just say trying to fuck? We can start there. Yeah, he I blushing, but that boy is crazy. blushing, bro. He finna fail. Talking like that for no reason. You think it's for no reason? I wouldn't be telling you we could f if it was for no reason. I gotta think about it. You gotta think about it. I mean, it's a yes or no question. Would you like to stick yes or no? Shit, I mean, why not? Well, why not? Huh? Why not? Yes, I want to. Okay. <laughs> you want to. I've been on one you want to? You time. want to what? Why are you getting all mad? I'm, I, I'm asking you a question. You just want to what? You was just telling me. <laughs> you want to what? I want to f*** you. Right, that's your dad, man. Look, I told you. Hey, let's go. Let's go. He said, I told yeah, you, man. Already? All right, Gabe, go ahead, Gabe. Come on, man. So Coco literally just asked David to have sex with her, and he actually agreed. So there's no need to watch any more. Damn. Me and David decided to go ahead and go. He said, I want to. <laughs> what, what, what the hell? What's been going on? You know what I'm saying? Like, you've been undercover. Just respecting the boundaries, you feel me? Respecting whose boundaries? Respecting you boundaries. You're my best friend. You shouldn't want to me at all. How you playing with me? I mean, I just asked you a question. It was just to see how you honestly felt. I'm not playing with you at the end of the day. That's just how you felt. It was Damn. Because, like, like, if that's how you felt, why didn't you take the chance to do it before? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's been plenty of times where I didn't have no type of situation, no none of that. Oh, so, shit. Like, Here we go. I need you to stay out of my house right now. He said, get the fuck out of my house. Here we go, here we go. Unfortunately, I cannot post this part of the video, you guys. You want to see the full clip, make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram. The link will be in the description down below. But to get what happened? Give you guys a little insight. Gabe will explain exactly what happened. So I seen somebody get the hot style. Okay. Someone grabbed him. You know what I'm saying? I grabbed him. We got to touch him. I fell on the couch, picked him up, started going towards the front door. Thomas came to help me, and boom, I stole some trash. Got back up, grabbed him, got him out of there. I ain't gonna lie, man. He was a big dude. You know what I'm saying? So I grabbed oh, him. Oh, so they went at it. Thomas came to help me, so it's all good. Get up out of here. They went at it, bro. So once the best friend was escorted out, I then went back inside the house to see how David and Coco was gonna deal with this. She said, y'all doing too much? Are you serious? That dude's just say he's trying to clap. Childish. Yeah, she she gotta go. I ain't gonna lie. This bu buddy right here. You gotta kick her out, cause she's gonna do it. She's probably done it already, or she's gonna do it soon. Focus on yourself, King. Look at her trying to stick up, bro. So you feel like the integrity of the test was diluted because we actually put them to the test? Like put them in a situation that would never occur? Because I feel like that's that. At least from the conversation that we was having during the testing, yeah. Like at the he end said, of the day. He said, but at the end of the day, he didn't know that this was a test. So yeah. if that term But at the same time, if I didn't force that yes out of him, he wouldn't have been thinking that. Regardless, we tested his genuineness and he didn't know he was on a test and he failed. Look at her trying to stick up for him, man. Oh, 
stuff that we put him to the test. Nah, that's crazy. Yeah, I can't believe she's trying to stick up for you him. You never know. What if y'all would have went now? He got drunk. He would have tried it. Why would he want his girl around anything like that? And I'm only, I can only relate because I'm a, I'm a man as well. If you guys in the comments feel like you're a female and you want to drop in the comments your perspective, go ahead and do that. But don't try to feel the same way. Yeah. At the end of the day, it was a test. So he failed. Look, look, look. All I got to say is you got to choose between me or him. Well, you just kicked him out. So where the hell is the choice? The choice yeah, is gone. Go At this point, you can go too. Where? He said you can go That's too. Wow, look at her, bro. Look at her. She said you're you're replaceable. But you know she's going straight to Buddy's house, man. You already know she is. Yeah, she was in it, bro. That's crazy. It's unfortunate that it unfolded like that, bro, but at the end of the day, you got your peace, you got your space, you made the decision. Your so peace, your space, man. Yeah, that shit, you can clean this shit, but you want some cleanliness, hit me up, like, bro, you need What do you mean it's dirty? Is it, like, is it bad? Did they break shit? Hey, W security guard, man. So I didn't expect David to actually kick Coco out the house as well, but I understand 100% at the end of the day. She was exactly, man. Best friend when she should have chose her loyalty with her boyfriend. I hope, bro, keep going. Keep, keep going and push that shit, man. And get rich. Get. Exactly, man. Till next <laughs> Hey, man, that's the end of the video, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all want to see next, and I'll see y'all then.